Hello, it's the middle of October already. So time for a mid-month wrap up and I've read five books. I think that was one more than I read by this time in September, but uh, five books. Four of them are net galley arcs and all four come out in January next year. And the fifth one is um, off the Goldsmiths Prize shortlist, which was announced a few days ago, because I've decided I'm going to try and read the, the shortlisted books. Um, though it might be difficult because my library hasn't got three of them. They're just not in their catalogue, but we will see. So what did I read this month? I started off with The Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. And wow, Grace is such a wonderful character. The whole story is takes place over a day. And Grace wants to deliver a birthday cake to her daughter. It's her 16th birthday and she wants to deliver a cake. The problem is that she's estranged from her husband and the daughter is living with the husband. And the daughter has said she doesn't want mum at the party. So Grace has got this feeling that if she can just get to this party, deliver this cake, she will right all the wrongs that she thinks she has done and everything will be back to normal. But she has got to get this cake. And she's in a traffic jam. She's in London and the traffic has just come to a halt. So what do you do? You get out the car and you walk. And she leaves her car, she abandons the car and walks across London with this cake. Having little adventures on the way. While she's walking, she's we have flashbacks of how she met her husband, how everything went wrong. We have all these little flashbacks and layer by layer, everything is revealed and we get to the heart of the matter. A super book. She is a brilliant character really really is it's a story of motherhood and dealing with teenagers so it's great i like that one next one we went into gothic a gothic thriller and it's the cloisters by katie hayes i'd never heard of the cloisters but it's a museum in new york google it and anne has gone there to do research she is working for patrick and she's working alongside Rachel and Patrick is into tarot and divination and he's trying to find the link between the two and how far back it goes and these two girls are researching and Anne discovers a pack of cards that predates everything that Patrick has already discovered but it comes with danger. So you've got this gothic museum and you've got danger and you've got toxic friendship and you've got hot gardeners and yeah, a, a nice spooky read. Then I moved on to um, a set of eight short stories and it's Stories from the Tenants Downstairs by Siddig Fafana. And this is a tenement block in Harlem where the residents are all on low incomes. But the block has been sold and the new owners want the tenants out. So they are putting rents up so that the tenants can't afford them, they default, they get evicted and that gives the owners a chance to gentrify and upmarket the property. So you've got eight stories from eight tenants in this block, eight very different voices and different forms. One of them takes the form of a letter. Everything is in the Harlem dialect, which does take a bit of getting into. Well, I found it took a bit of getting into, but once you're into it, it, it's fine. So you've got eight very different stories about people who feel life is unfair. They're doing the best they can, but life is against them. 
Then we moved on to um, Becky by Sarah May. Uh, again, all, all these four come out in January. And this is almost a retelling of Vanity Fair. I've never read Vanity Fair, so I don't know how true everything is. But every character in the book is named after a character in the original Vanity Fair. And we cover 1980 to 2012, and we're in the world of tabloid journalism. Sorry, tabloid journalism. And you have Becky clawing her way to the top, starting as a journalist and clawing her way to the top. Powerful, ruthless, strong. Um, you have events from that time period, real events that are blurred. Names are changed, but those of us that are old enough, we know exactly what events they're talking about. Um, she's a strong character. She's a feisty character. Do you like her? I didn't. A good read, but I just didn't like Becky. Maybe I'm not meant to like Becky. Um, the fifth and final one, um, this is off the Goldsmiths Prize shortlist. It's um, There Are More Things by Yara Rodriguez Fowler. And this is about two girls, Melissa and Katerina, both with Brazilian links. Um, so we have their friendship. We have their story. We also have sort of the backstories of their families, which tie in with the political situation in Brazil as they were growing up and, and going even further back. Um, it moves on to sort of Brexit, um, London riots, um, protests that the girls get involved in. It's a story of friendship, revolution, love. And because it's a Goldsmiths Prize, everything is, all the books on the Goldsmiths shortlist, the idea is that the Goldsmiths are celebrating books that push the boundaries and this one you've got um, Portuguese recipes, you've got uh, repeated sections, you've got repeated lines and the reader wants you to, when music is mentioned in the book, she wants you to play that music so while you are reading that, that chapter, those chapters, the music in the chapter is playing in your own background and she's wanting you to, to speak at these meetings when you are making statements of intent at these meetings, when, sorry, when the characters are making statements of intent, she's wanting you to read out aloud so you are part of this, this group as well. So it's almost a multimedia book. And that is the first one that I've read off the shortlist. Notice in the second one, because on the shortlist, there's also Maddie Mortimer's Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies. That's on the Goldsmiths Prize shortlist. I've read that, so this is a second one off the shortlist that I've read. So those are my five books off the um, of the month, of the first half of the month. I didn't have a five star. There's not one five star there that I could give. But I think my favourite one has to be Grace Adams because she was such an amazing character. So, Amazing Grace Adams, that is my book of the first half of October. Whether I'll get any five stars in the second half, I don't know. September, I had 10 five-star reads. So far, with 15th of the month, I've not had one. So, that's just how it goes. So, happy reading. Take care.